Welcome. Good morning, everyone. Appreciate everyone being here. Eric Catcher with Century 21, where I love to uh, help uh, and, and guide and um, have collaboration with other fellow agents in regards to providing great customer service for our customers and our clients here in real estate. Um, and so I wanted to share my screen today and we will look at a few things here that I want to do and make sure I'm on top here and I will go to slideshow in the beginning. All right, so it's nice and big. All right, so number one, for those who are visiting here for the first time, uh, there is, if you go to that bit.ly, uh, bit.ly at all in with Eric Hatch, that is where you'll find a lot of our other past um, handouts. And I believe Madison this morning was putting uh, the last two weeks that we've done a uh, seller and buyer checklists uh, for uh, kind of my timeline. I added about 10 more into the seller checklist. I think we're at 122. Uh, and so we re I put all those or Madison put all those on a um, on a spreadsheet. So she will download that uh, today. So if you go in there, I believe when you go and click on that, it does need to ask for some to an invite. So I will invite you in. Uh, so don't panic if you get there and it says, as Eric will invite you in. So I, I'll see it. It comes over my email right away. And then I'll invite you in, then you can be able to see it. But I, it's nice. We actually I put them all more in order too and kind of uh, change them up a little bit on timeline and stuff. So so that is that this will pop up here at the very end as well, that you'll see this one more time. All right. So guys, I wanted to talk to you today about something really important. And that's uh, obviously follow up with, with your clients. What do you guys think right now? Does it feel like we have to follow up with them with the shift in the market? more or less today? What are you guys seeing? I, I see mores, mores, mores. Uh, and so, you know, real estate, I've been doing this since 1995. Some of you may have just started. Some of you may have been doing it for longer, uh, but, you know, this is, you know, it, it, it goes up and down. So things will continue to go up and things will continue to go down. Um, thank you more, Valerie. Appreciate the chat. So, you know, it, it gets to a point where, Sometimes real estate is real easy, or, or let me just say this. Sometimes it's you know easier. Sometimes you have a transaction, you go, wow, where did they come from? And they're great and you close and there's no hassle. The house was clean, seller participated, buyer participated, everything was great. And you close the escrow, you get this check and went, wow, real estate is just like, this is, this is simple, this is super easy. Then, you have majority of hard transactions that have uh, difficult situations that pop up and things that just um, make uh, make our job uh, why we have problems. And so, I, and I think I shared this with Jessica before is that if we don't have problems, we don't have a job. And so that's our job is to do. So I want you guys to, you know, have a high level of success, but also maintain your sanity, uh, because when you have um, in those maybe. You, you know, could share, but if you've got what your your maximum transactions you guys had at one given time, and if you maybe one is the mass the, that that all you really want to handle one at a time, but you know eventually you're going to 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 be able to make it in the business. You're going to need to have somewhere between four and maybe six transactions going on all at the same time, and maybe one day you'll get twenty transactions going at the same time. And so, how do you maintain your sanity? Is you hire nice people like Madison over here who uh, who makes you smile every day uh, on that. So so uh, what I've got here is I want to share a little bit about uh, getting organized and making sure that you guys have what you need um, on this. And so again, I've always talked and harped about getting the systems, uh, utilize email templates, don't trust your brain, um, you know, because you know, a lot of times... Uh, it, Madison is just a, a miracle worker when it comes to numbers. Um, so if I say, hey, what was that address? She, without even looking, she just spits it out. And so we kind of work together uh, on that. But um, having a transaction checklist, which we've been talking about, utilize the tasks feature in your CRM, get a planner if you need to, set up an email folders, flag emails that need attention, um, you know, schedule uh, your your day, 15 minute increments um, using Google spreadsheets. You know, I, and I, I know Madison sometimes isn't always excited about what I'll do, but I'll, I'll like say, okay, for the next 15 minutes or the next 45 minutes this morning, this is all I want you to do. And it's actually real interesting to watch Madison do that. Um, and all of us too, because if I said, Jessica, I want you for the next 20 minutes to ignore your phone. And I want you to concentrate on this task. 
and then it's it's difficult. It's actually you know kind of fun to watch uh, Madison and I struggle with that of like trying to like not 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 there, there's an you know might be something happening here on my phone, but I'm gonna push my phone aside and just do it. And so when we've been setting these schedules up and doing 15 20 minutes, and today I gave her a big one of 45 minutes, she busts it out and gets it done. And now we can move on with other things that are important. Uh, what I would or you know being organized. I know when you end, end the day, if there's about five things that you want to get done the next day, write it down on a piece of paper, put it down on a piece of paper, leave it on your desk. You come in, you know exactly what the first five things that you need to do that maybe you didn't get done today. So I want to talk about a little bit about your CRM. Um, I'm hoping that you guys by now have some type of CRM, whether it's Snap or whatever CRM you guys are using. You guys are welcome to share in the chat of what CRMs or shout out what the best CRM that you're using, because it just it can't be in your head. It can't be um, um, you know, there in your head and trying to remember, memorize everything. And I know that there's another agent out, out there, a good friend of mine. Um, I shared this with her at the at, uh, summit and she comes and goes, Eric, I know for 15 years, you've been telling me to get a CRM and it's still just kind of in my head. So and I'm going to show the importance of kind of what it is and why you need to do it. Um, you know, this week, you know, I, you know, I had, you know, you've got your know, clients that if you don't reach out to them and you reach out to them and then they say, yeah, you know, we, we, yeah, we bought a house with someone else or with whatever. Well, we sold a house with someone else and you kind of look and go, well, why? And then you look back and you go, let's see, when did I reach out to them last? Oh, it's been a, uh, um, like two months or six months or something. So most of our morning here in my office is that we spend the first 30 to 45 minutes prospecting and just reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, having our lists, and everybody that, you know, kind of like just going through lists, which I do print them to, and they're on CRMs. And I'm going to kind of show you how that is. So if you have, you know, I don't know how many people you guys have in your database. Jana, do you have like a database? Jessica, Valerie, Vicki, anybody just want to say what you got in your database of people? I have about like 700 people in my database, but I have no idea what to do with them all. Okay. Okay. That's, that's good. I mean, you just put them because I've got 9,500. I just updated my thing this morning. So, you know, 9,500 people, it's like, how do you reach this out? This makes me want to blow my brains out. Yeah. With 700 or 9,500? 95. Well, no, the 700 too, but when I think of 9,500, I really want to go. And that's longevity too. And that's also everything that, that, that any lead that comes through on my Facebook or any kind of marketing that we do, it automatically goes in there and I'm trusting my system to do what it needs to do to auto drip these individuals where they'll just pop out on top. But um, it doesn't always happen because you will be emailing them stuff all the time, but you need to do other things and reaching out and, and there's different things uh, that you can do in your, in your subject lines and stuff that Madison does, which are fantastic, which then I think this week, what did we get? 15, 20, 20 or 15 people that have reached out that either said, no, thank you, or yes, please keep them coming, or I'm coming on September, or, you know, just because, you know, just people that I completely forgot that they were even coming or even even in there. Um, so let me share what, what we've got here on this. I want you guys, those who haven't heard this before. And so Jaina, I want you, and I don't know if you have Jaina, but have you taken your 700 people and broken them into different categories inside your database in your CRM? Poorly. Okay. Well, here's a here's a list of uh, that you guys can do that you can see that I do on mine. So VIP are my VIP customers who I've sold houses to that live here locally. And I'm going to share why I, I divide that up. So I think we, what is it, 260? I think there's 260 that are in that VIP list who I feel that I've, that are still local, that are here. I've got my past clients, it's a lot more, but those are, you know, the, the sellers that I've sold that moved out of the area. So I have past clients that I still send stuff to that are, then, that are, Everyone that has moved out and my VIP. So if I'm doing a special invitation to a local event, then I'm going to um, go with the VIP. Jessica, are you coming on Saturday? I forgot to ask you. You can tell me. I can't. Anyway, <laughs> you can tell me later. I think I'm coming. I don't know about the kids. They might right. be with their dad. No, no worries. Perfect. All right. You, you know, we'll talk about that. But so we're and I'll show you what we're going to talk about that slide in a couple of minutes of what's happening on Saturday. So past clients. Um, so. Uh, showing now. So I'm going to, I can break this out and show you basically what I've got. So I know who I'm showing properties to about to list uh, this one. I think we have 70 something people that are in this list. Now this one's a little bit 
um, larger. They may not be like, hey, I'm listing tomorrow, but this is the 70 something people that said, hey, in the near future, within, I would say six months, we're thinking about putting our house on the market. So if I, so Jane, if I've got my, my head is exploding and I want to sit down today and I want to go, okay, who do I want to reach out to today? If I open up my database and I had 995, you know, 100 people and there were 700 people, I'd go, where do I start? Do I go with number one, number two, you get, you know, 15, 20 minutes into it and you're hitting 30, 40 people. And then you're, you're going to have to stop because you have other things that are, that you need to go take care of. So what I do is I'll go straight to a uh, showing now database, right into my, my breaking out of my CRM straight to my showing now. And then we will actually go straight down that list and go email, 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 call, call, email, and we'll just reach out to these individual people. So if you have a 20 minute increment of a time to be able to sit down and do something, I can do that. If I want to go, okay, guys, because right now our current listings, our listings are taking a little bit longer to sell. So if you guys have a bunch of listings, I need to market to those listings. You can't just put take a take a listing and say, okay, now I'm not going to talk to you or I'm only going to call you if an agent wants to come see the house. There are things like I have on my schedule today that I'm doing new CRMs um, no, nope, new CMAs, sorry, new CMAs for my current listings and saying, showing them what actually sold in the last week. And, and, you know, then, and then emailing them and saying, guys, we've had three other showings near you that have sold, get on Zillow meetings with them. I love my Zillow meetings where I'll get on with Zillow. Did I say Zillow meetings? Sorry, Zoom meetings. So I get on Zoom with them and I'll, and I'll actually show them and share my screen of what is actually selling and what's not. And so you're, uh, you know, you're not having to drive to their house, but then you know they're doing price ad adjustments and stuff by just looking at the data that I'm providing them. And it's just so great to be able to communicate and connect with them through that. So I do have local agents. So I have a, a group of local agents that we will blast out. Um, and then we have outside agents. I don't know, we were discussing it yesterday uh, because we got another referral check. It was so huge. It was $535. It was exciting to get that check. But um, but I will tell you that we got another one last week that was $2,500. And we're getting another one that's going to be about $3,000. And these are referral agents that I have in my database that we're referring agents to. And we sent out two referrals uh, uh, to Kim. I don't think Kim's on here today, but Kim got one in, uh, up there in um, Minden in Nevada. And so these are, you know, guys make money on, on agents. If you, your client says, hey, I'm thinking about, I'm moving to um, a certain state or a certain city, you better believe that I'm going to be trying to do my best to get them set up with an agent. Um, nurture, um, I've got a client current listing, sorry, expires, core 100. Now this one, guys, is your vendors. So please don't forget your sweet vendors. You got, they, they take such good care of you and, 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 their their lenders, your your escrow officers, your you know title reps. I mean, those are people that you can't do this business without them. So, I have that. So we do a vendor parties and different things there. Whoops, that we do there. And investors, um, the buy to sell. This one, guys, I want to share what what that is. This is a new one that we've added on there. I think we put seventy five people on there now um, that Madison has done. But what this is is that if you guys have listings and let's say we've got uh, Jane has got a listing, she sells it, um, and they were a client and an agent from Sacramento or Fairfield. Do you think that in four, five, six, ten years later, that Jaina, do you think that agent or that seller that is in that house that bought your house is now going to call up their Fairfield or their their Sacramento agent to say, "Hey, I want you to sell my house here in Lake of the Pines"? The likelihood of that happening is probably five uh, percent. So they're going to be going and wanting to list their house with a local agent. And who best are they going to come and turn to? And that just happened to me. We just closed it last week on Greenbrier that um, I had closed that house five years ago. And then they came back and then they listed with me because their agent was out of Sacramento. So, you know, but now I thought, well, because of that, this is why it's new. I thought we need to start marketing to them. We need to start sending some stuff to them. A, yeah, you've got their name. You don't have probably an email address, but you know what the address is. And so you can actually mail them some things to say, hey, we're having a customer appreciation party. We want to invite you and stuff. So stay there because they they will come back to you. And, you know, that was a, a eight twelve thousand dollar commission that now for $12,000 on that, I can spend a lot of money marketing to this, what's, you know, turning buyers back into sellers. So that's what that is on that list. So I want to share this with you. So if you've got, um, this is what um, Tom Ferry shares this, that he feels that if you could do 10% conversion, you know, every 10 years. Now I will tell you that there's people that, that some of your best friends, 
you know, whatever it might be that you've sold them homes or you're really good friends. And then all of a sudden, some of them will call you and say, I'm going to go in a different direction. And some of them you just drive by one day and there's a sign out in front of their house and you just like cry. So sometimes guys, we just can't control it. Something happened where they've gotten better friends with somebody else or went to a you know tennis team and they're a tennis club and they're now best friends with so-and-so. So you can't, you know, you can't expect to, to get all of them. But if you can get about 10%, and so I, I calculated this and about my 9,500 people, and it actually came to about nine, you know, 95 transactions for the year, which we've been, you know, I've been doing somewhere between 85 and 105 transactions a year, which fits right in that 10% conversion rate. So I've never really thought about that until uh, we were doing that this morning. So, you know, the 700, or if you've got a thousand people in there, then yeah, you, you know, you've got that 10%, Jana. So in that you probably in the next two, three years, you can kind of watch that if you stay in touch with them, because if I don't do that, you guys, I'm telling you, it's like, I, I kind of feel bad. And I think I shared this a couple of classes ago is when I get people like, I just got a, I, a call was referred. Now here's again, here's just a live example. My pest guy who comes and sprays my house for the last 12, 13 years has given me two amazing referrals. He gave me one um, last week or and then she, no, two days ago, she calls me up and says, I want to list my home. I don't know if that is actually that video. I think Jessica, you've seen the video that I sent to you at the pool and stuff in the backyard yesterday, but that was a referral that my pest guy who says, oh yeah. And he's does, he does, he sprays her pest and pests at his, her house and just says, um, you need to use Eric catch. And so then I kind of go, wow, why, why did she not call her agent? You know, was there an issue with her agent? And I look it up and it was an outside agent. So there's that whole opportunity there to, to be that local person. So that vendor is comes to vendor party and 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 I give lots of fun things to that person as far as uh, gifts and cards and stuff. So they 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 I reward them upon getting um them referring me out. So so that's important. So that 10% conversion every 10 years, uh, and then you've got a conversion to agent to agent referral. So any of that would be a vendor referral, agent referral. So there's lots of things because if you can imagine that 9,500 people and you guys have to go ask for it. So make sure that you go, you go ask. And so if you want Rose, if you want to say, hey, I, I want business, you've got to go to your vendors. You've got to go to the, this, your database and say, hey guys, you know, I know you've been getting some emails from me for you know, several years, just wanted to check in. If you guys are ever thinking about like buying a second home or buying another home in a different state, I've got a huge, large list of real estate agents, you know, that I can actually refer you to. So feel free to let me know so I can connect you with the right agent that would fit your best needs. But if you don't go ask that, they're just going to go to Reno or go to Tahoe or go wherever and they're going to buy a home. So, you know, there's occasional good friends of mine that said, yeah, we just bought a, a condo in Maui or we just bought a condo up in Tahoe. It's like, they didn't even think about me because a I maybe forgot to tell them that I can refer them because I don't work in Maui or work in Tahoe, but at the same time you can actually refer them. So you just need to like, let them know. So make sure that in some of your social media posts and things that you are stating that just because I work in my designated area, it doesn't mean I can't find you another great agent in another area of your choice. So let them know and kind of push that a little bit more um, in your social media stuff. So I want you guys to know that you guys need to really hit, you know, everyone in about every 90 days. Uh, and a phone call, a chat would be fantastic to be able to have that. Uh, when you've got that many people, it's tough. But when you break it down, because we broke it down of the, about that 260 people in the VIP list that we do, that my wife gives me five names for that week of five sellers or five people that I've sold a home to that are, you know, that are buyers that are now would be a seller. They, she gives me them, I put them on a little post-it note and, and I just go boom, boom. And I give them a call during that week and I touch base with them to see how they're doing. And the fun part is, is that I might not have spoken to them for a long time or, or left a message. So maybe I haven't talked to them for two, three years. But when you start on the phone, you start chatting with them. It seems like it was yesterday that they just think that all these memories come to their mind and they go, oh, how are you doing? How are your kids, the grandkids? I have a lady I won't be able to find her right now because she's coming to our customer appreciation party on Saturday. And she just says, you are the, the kindest person. It's been 26 years. I've sold her house, you know, and we've, we've gone to uh wow guys, burgers and creams, good place. Just heads up. But, uh, but I'm just, 
that we've gone to burgers and cream for for lunch and just just the two of us have been hanging out just to, just keeping that relationship going um and so it's really it's fun to be able to do that and to be able to see each other's families and grandchildren and people kind of continue moving through uh, our time here on earth um so but you can do a, a call a text a video uh, so if you do have a lot of people you should be doing a market video once a month so your whole entire database gets some type of market video they should be facebook friends i've got um, people that keep texting me going hey great video you know I'm, I'm now following you on facebook and these are tenants of mine that that are fun that uh from tennessee and places like that so i don't know they you just, you know, you never know where business might come from. So, um, you know, contact on, you know, specific around, you know, specifically around them. So I actually kind of, this is what happens is like when we had um, the power outage or we had that storm, those who live in, in Alta Sierra area um, that knew all the snow were up in Forest Hill when Jessica gets snowed in and gets massive snow and her trees are falling. So guess what I did? I jumped on the phone. How how hard was that? I jumped on the phone. I sent some texts and just said, "Hey, I hope all is well. I know the power's out. Just wanted to check in with you. How did your house? How did you know? How did the trees? You know, how are things? Well, yeah, we had two trees fall on my through my house. I had six trees fall through my house. So my tree guy and I would then go great, and I would just get my top three tree guys and I go boom. Here they are. Please give them a call. They can come help you. And several of them, my tree guys loved it because I think we got them like twenty thousand dollars worth of work. But at the same time that they were grateful that I reached out, especially those that you want to do of you know your your single people, your widows, or people that maybe don't have family here. So I reached out to my list of uh, about to list you know homes, and one of them actually she had a tree that went down in her front yard, and she's by herself. So we were able to help and assist her on that. So you know those are important um, you know to do, and that's the the keep it simple. You know to five to you know ten to five, you can you know block out ten minutes and you just call five people. You know, just call five people, you know, and, and that's something where we really need to be reaching out to more people and seeing them. Uh, when the pandemic hit, I was reaching out, calling them. I and mean, we had so much time to sit and sit at home. Just, you know, why not call people and check to see how they are? So if you see that, I watch diligently on Facebook for, you know, Facebook birthdays and, you know, and things that might pop up. If I see, I actually go through Facebook and then move, suck all their birthdays and stick them all inside my database. So then I can do something different on their birthdays to send them that way as well. Um, you know, so I want to share with you guys, never leave your client in your CMA without doing some next task. So if I sit there and go five individual people that my wife gives me some people to go talk to, she then goes in the CRM and goes, okay, and puts them in 90 days, a task for 90 days to reach out to them again, 90 days to reach out to them again. So it just, boom, you just get, you know, give some kind of a, something there. Cause if you just accidentally forget or don't put them back in there as a task and you have 700 or 9,500 people, you'll forget, you'll forget to go back in. So you want this to actually all like, you know, be smart and lay it all out there for you on that. All right. So customer appreciation parties. Uh, this is what I was talking to Jessica. We do have one coming up and I want you guys to know that don't be like, I don't know, somebody made a comment. We, we send out, um, about 260 invitations, handwritten invitations. And I think Madison said, well, what if they all showed up at your house? And I said, we'd have a big party. So it would be, it would be a blast. And how many do we have? 25 maybe? So we have about only 25 people, but you know, out of the 25 people that are coming, it's great. I have a couple of them that um, one of them is 26 year old, 26 years ago client to some that are brand new. Some I haven't seen for in you know about a year, but out of those, out of the response that I received, I've received a double response by people even today, this morning, last night, texting or calling me saying, thank you so much for the invite, but we're not able to come to your to your to the party. So then I can now have a chat with them. And now I go back in and you make sure you put a little note in your CRM that they actually chatted and they you know, responded back via text or whatever that you want to do. So then you know that you actually had a contact. So that's what's important. They all got a nice postcard. They all got a nice email. Um, and, and, and so don't be afraid to throw something out. If you're going to do a top golf event and you go, wow, I don't want to rent out the whole entire place or have a budget in mind, just say, guys, for the first, um, I'm renting out two bays at top golf and they fit, 
you know, 12 or 14 people. So I'm, I'm, you know, to the first 14 people that come in, you know, I would love to take you to Top Golf. And so, and then make sure you take pictures when you're there. I don't have them on this, but we've got pictures of us. I actually provided a banner or made a banner, had a banner made that says customer appreciation party by Eric Catch at Century 21. And so I've actually had a new agent actually we recruited an agent who saw that at the Auburn theater and walked up to me and says, wow, that's a really cool idea. How do I get into real estate? I've had a, a somebody drive up to me at the park at Lake of the Pines one time because I put that banner up, drove up and said, hey, I want to list my lots around the corner. Can you come, you know, come list it? Uh, so these are things where in the community, they see you doing these type of things. So, you know, advertise that, get a banner, get a poster, get something. So I have all my clients stand in front and we take a picture and, and, a, and you know, the movie night at the Auburn movie night, we used to do them on Tuesdays where it would be less expensive. And I would just buy a bunch of buckets of popcorn and I would bring little popcorn bags and I'd put the popcorn in there. And then I would give, um, you know, at least give the free popcorn away to them in small little bags. And so walk around and just say hi to everyone. And it was just uh, fun to do. We've done, I think, three there at the Auburn movie theater. We've done a, a top golf event, done a couple barbecues. I do the pies for, um, we do the pies, which is quite fun for November. Uh, we do, uh, my wife is actually going to the strawberry patch and she's going to get more, more uh, strawberries and we're going to do some jams and stuff there. Uh, you can do manicures for, um, for Mother's Day. So, um, so Mother's Day, you can do manicures and pedicures or go talk to somebody. We've done a, one at a yogurt shop before where we just had uh, everybody would just come here. And I think we only had, you know, out of that many of 300 people, 260 people, you're, I'm only getting maybe 25 to 40 people. The pies this year was probably up to about 40, uh, but a $9 piece of pie or, you know, not piece, but a pie at nine bucks there at, um, at Costco. And so it was, um, you know, that's, you know, 200 and something dollars of pies to actually versus going out and creating new business and sending out an article or a, a magazine or a, an ad or something. It was just, you know, to go door to door and face to face with your clients. Um, I know Jessica participated in our, uh, our cookie drive with our crumble cookie because uh, she's reciprocated and gives me back those cookies. I haven't had a cookie though, Jessica, for a little while because I am on a diet. So just heads up, don't bring me one. <laughs> I'm trying to, but now the one in Auburn is getting close and I don't know how yeah. strong my willpower is. Yes. we well, Let's go there together. Let's do that together. Okay. We'll do it. We'll do, we'll post something on that of a, Oh, what you're here. I'm here. We'll do something kind of funny. Okay. That'd be good. All right. Don't go. I won't go without you. Okay. All right. Um, but uh, pumpkins, you know, we had a little, we decorated, we've got a couple of hay bales out here in front of the office and I put pumpkins there and had the clients swing by for pumpkins. And, and so we maybe only gave around 20, 30 pumpkins, but it, it just something just kind of fun, something that you're sending them on a monthly basis, just to communicate and touch base with them on an email uh, on, on having that customer appreciation party. And I just keep getting people that say, I just can't, Oh, we did a river cats one. Yeah, I don't know if anybody who went to river cats, that was fun. So when river cats, it was the first, night that we had then the third the triple a baseball and we just um i think they were the hat a hot dog a drink and chips i think they were like seven dollar tickets and so you know i think we had maybe 30 people go so again just to go and hang out and most of the time it's just a tax right up because my kids and everybody who i actually sold houses to with my grandkids they're client customers too so it's mostly a family event so uh jessica you might meet a lot more of my kids this saturday so all right, so that is uh so any that's just some ideas, guys, that you can actually do there. Um, the uh, but you need to have the systems to communicate with them. So I do video systems. I had this lady yesterday that I sent out this video, and I probably I won't be able to find it, but she just says, "Wow, that was so amazing! I can't believe I've never seen that technology." I had a buyer when we're we're in contract right now, and when I sent her all the disclosures and stuff and introduced all the the things, she says, "Wow, this is amazing! I love this. You're gonna have to show me how I do this because I want to like implement that in my business that she has as well." So this is just way easy things to communicate. I use Bomb Bomb if nobody hasn't heard that before. Um, drive, I use drive. So you have sheets, you have slides, I have everything just kind of, uh, you do have the CRM system, you can, you can print the print the lists out, you can kind of like see them and feel them and check them off as well. Postcards, so you need to you know, Vista print, you can do them on, um, what's the other thing we're using? What is Dan using? Dan's got the, um, what's our postcard company that Shannon's using the cousin from? Oh, um... Anybody knows that you can shout it out, but um, it, was it wasn't Vista Print. No, the other print one that Dan actually would just just listed just sold postcards, social media platform. So you need to have all those systems totally up and running so you could actually communicate with them on a timely and quick manner. 
All right, so um, that is it. So it's kind of a short little class, 30 minutes. Thank you. So Mariah, I can go back and uh, uh, chat with you for a few minutes uh, and I'll go through some other things uh, there as well. So I just want to share again, that bit.ly link down there, write that down, take a picture of it. That actually is um, uh, a link where all of these checklists that we've been talking about the last two weeks, just any type of, there's if there's ever a handout, it goes into that uh, bit.ly link. Um, location there that you guys can go see. So any questions that you guys have um, on on any of this or any other ideas, I'd love, please share share ideas. I uh, will do this and I will pause the recording. And are you sure you want to stop recording?